In order to reserve a room at the library, head to the library website, stchlibrary.org. Next, under Explore Services, click Reserve a Room. On this page, you'll be able to explore the types of rooms, catering information, fees, and more. When you're ready to start, click Make a Reservation. On this page, you'll be able to read the meeting room policy, which is required to be read before making your reservation. If you need to meet at a certain time and date, but where you meet is not vital, reserving a room by day may be the best option for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to reserve a room by the room. Here, you can browse through the available rooms or use the filters on the left to narrow down the room type and location you're interested in. Here, you can see the minimum and maximum capacity of each room, as well as the short description. Once you find a room that meets your requirements, click Room Details. Here, you'll be able to see more details about the room, as well as select a date and time for your reservation. Let's try reserving for Saturday at 9.30. Now that you've chosen your room and your start time, you'll be able to add a title to your reservation. This title will only be visible to library staff and not the public. Please make sure that your title includes information to help your guests be directed to the correct room. Additionally, if you add your last name to the title, library staff will be able to see your reservation even quicker. You'll want to review the room reservation policy. Once you've read it and agreed to it, click the checkbox next to Terms and Conditions. You'll also be able to review your times and the branch you've selected. Please note, setup times are incorporated into your reservation. You will not be able to enter the space until your reservation starts. So make sure to add additional time if needed. Next, please let us know how many attendees you expect. Our spaces can only accommodate the maximum number that we have listed for each room. Next, you will need to enter your library card and PIN number. The library card number should be entered with no spaces. If you need assistance with this, please contact the library. Once you enter your library card number and PIN, it will automatically enter your name and contact information. If this information is incorrect, please contact the library. Finally, please enter your organization name if, if applicable. If not, a group name that matches your title will be enough to help library staff direct your guest to the correct room. You also want to select an organization type. Please let us know if you have any special requirements that you need, such as accessibility to the projector. Finally, add a quick summary to the purpose of your meeting. When all this information is entered, hit Submit. Your reservation will be reviewed and you will receive notification when the reservation has been approved by library staff.